Hello, you want to learn how to pull off a character intro in Femora just like the one you're watching right now? Then stay with me, I'll show you how. Before we get started, if you're new here, consider subscribing for more awesome videos like this. Without further ado, let's get started. This is actually a simple effect to pull off, so let's get into it. First of all, we need a footage, a video that we're gonna use for our intro, for our character intro. So drag and drop it in the timeline. Let's preview it and see what we have. So go through it and find a place where you will want to use as an intro. Just scroll through it and take a snapshot. Now here's our snapshot and split the video right there, right at that spot and drag it apart, drag and drop the, the snapshot in between the video. Now we have our snapshot in between the splitted video. Double click on it and go to color. Let's change the color. So click on color and go to 3D loot and pick, just pick and choose this. Just go through them one after the other and pick the one that will be right for you. We mustn't add color, but we just want it to be different from the original video. So just go through it and pick the right color for you, a suitable color that you like. Now when we're done, it's time to add animation to our snapshot. So move the playhead to the beginning of the snapshot and go to animation, customize and add a keyframe. Now move the playhead a couple of frames forward and expand the image, scale it up. Then move the playhead toward the end of the video and add a keyframe. Move the playhead to the end of the, of the video and restore the scale. Now, we don't want the image to be still, so we're going to add a little bit of movement to it. So move your playhead ahead of where the, key, the last keyframe was and add a keyframe. And move it before the end of the third keyframe. And let's go to scale and scale it a little bit and we will have this nice slow movement. So when we're done with that, we will have something like this. Let's preview it and see what we have. Now we're going to take uh, a snapshot that we're going to use for a second animation. So when you find our place, take a snapshot and here's our snapshot. So drag it and drop it on the second track on the timeline. Double click on it and go to effects and go to utility. Drag and drop a max layer on the image. Double click on it and go to the setting. Now let's look for the cycle, click on it. And now let's make some changes here. Let's make it smaller, a cycle. So just play with it until you get exactly what you want. It should be smaller and all we want to capture is a face. So when we're done with that, let's drag and drop border to it. Double click on it and go to border setting. And let's change the size to one. So go to the screen and I make sure the image is centered. Now double click on the image and let's go to animation. So move the playhead to the beginning of the snapshot and add a keyframe. Move it a couple of frames forward and scale down the image. Then go to the screen and drag it to the corner in the right hand. And go back to rotation and change it to 360. And by the time we play it, we will have something like this. 
Now let's move our playhead toward the end of the image and add another keyframe. Then move the playhead to the end of the video and restore the scale, the position. So we're gonna add some transition to it. So go to transition, drag and drop this flash effects and drop it on the first uh, snapshot between the snapshot and the video now double click on it and let's scale down to about 10 then click apply all and we'll have a nice transition there between the video and the snapshot so let's have a preview of what we have so far So we're almost done, but we can add sound to it just like the one you heard at the intro. So I have the sound, I'll drag and drop it between the transition from video to image. Just drop it there. Don't worry, when I play it, you hear the sound. So you can do the same thing if you have, if you want to add the sound, it's optional. And also, we can also add title. We can add text to our, of our intro. Go to title, drag and drop a text on the third track on the timeline. Double click on it and click on advance. Now let's make a change to the text. You can add, you can write whatever you want. You can change the fonts, the size, and even the color. We can also add animation to the text. So when you're done with the text, click animation and add animation to the text to both the text and also make some adjustment there just the way you want it and when you're done you click OK let's pre-render it for a smooth playback so we can go over it and see what we have so far so also we can add background music so you can drag and drop any music you want to play in the background adjust it cut out the parts you don't want and when you're done, smash the export button and render your video. So, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button, like the video, share it with your friends, leave a comment below, and also leave a comment below on any video you want us to work on next time, and we'll see what we'll do about it. So, I'll see you in the next video.